Hello everybody and welcome to the Murrow Music YouTube channel. Stick around to learn how to put some handles on your DIY pedal board. Well, this video is kind of a part two, so if you haven't watched the DIY pedal board video that I came out with, you should pause this video, go watch that, and then come back after you've done that and learn how to put some handles on your pedal board. All right, so I picked up these handles at the local home center. They are just standard four inch cabinet handles and they came with the screws needed to install them. Now there are two options when it comes to mounting handles on your pedal board. The first is to inset them on the pedal board so they miss the aluminum edge and only go through the plywood, or you can mount them closer to the edge through the aluminum. For the first option, you simply center the handle on the side of your pedal board. In my case, I found the center and went two inches in either direction to give me my four inch handle spacing centered on the pedal board. Then you measure in from the edge enough so the handle will not hit the aluminum trim and drill two holes slightly bigger than the screws that came with your handles. Then you can screw in the handles from the back and you are all done. For option two, where the handle sits on top of the aluminum trim piece, you simply remove the aluminum from the board and measure out your midpoint then half your handle size in each direction to find the location of your screw holes. Then using a small pilot drill bit, you can drill through both sides of the aluminum channel, making sure that your drill is as perpendicular to the aluminum as possible so your holes line up and are straight. After that, you can switch to the right size bit for your screws and then drill each hole from the outside of the aluminum edge. Then you can fit the edge piece back on the board and mark where to drill the holes through the plywood. Then pull it off, drill it, and put it back on. Then you just attach the handle with the screws provided and you are all set. If you attach the handle in this way, the handle will hold the aluminum side piece on and you don't need to add any additional screws. Well, there you go. Hopefully you saw how easy it is to add some handles to your DIY pedal board. Tell you the truth, I don't know which way I like better, whether I like it inset in the fabric like that or in the aluminum edge. Um, this way is certainly easier and I think it's probably stronger since it's farther back inset from the edge of the plywood. But this way in the aluminum edge does look really nice. So I can't make up my mind which way I like better. Obviously it looks kind of goofy with these off center. But let me know in the comments below your opinion. Which one you think looks better. Either this one or that one. But that takes care of that. The second biggest question that I've been getting is the issue of cost. So real quick rundown of what it's going to cost you to build this pedal board. Um... You can go to the home center and you can pick up plywood in a two foot by two foot sheet for seven bucks, roughly. Get your rubber feet for 250. Screws and T-nuts, about $6 there. This Velcro material, I actually ordered online. I don't think you could get it anywhere else. And it was $12 plus $4 shipping. And the aluminum C-channel edge is going to be $9.40 for 96 inches of it, which is eight feet. So you could wrap it around a two foot by two foot pedal board. So pretty big board with just one piece of it. And these handles, I got $3 for the pair. So that total comes out to $43.90. So not too bad to build your own pedal board. Obviously, if you had a sheet of plywood laying around, you could just use some scrap and save some money there. But if you need to buy extra things like the spray adhesive I use to glue it on or things like that, it's going to make your cost go up. But hopefully that gives you a rough idea about the cost of this pedal board. But as always, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, found this informative and helpful. And I want you to go out there and build your own.